excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I want to get this thing removed. I'm Bradley, and I have a large growth growing on the left side of my knee. It's attracting bugs. My bump looks like raw meat. It has fat running through it and is connected by tissue about an inch across. And then it balloons out like a mushroom head on top. OK, you two, go ahead and have a seat right over here. And Dr. Thank Lee you. will be in with you, all right? I brought my son, Jeremy, for some support. And I know he's worried about it. Uh, how have you been feeling today? Uh, it's bleeding a lot and oozing a lot today. My bump tends to bleed and ooze constantly, and it smells rotten. Combination raw eggs and bacteria. When I'm driving, it's constantly rubbing and bumping against the door, which irritates the heck out of it, makes it start bleeding and oozing. And then when I get out, I quite often bang it on any of these parts of the door. When it gets smacked against something, a table or the car door, it sends a sharp stabbing pain. It feels like something's being kind of ripped off of me. It's like some alien creature that came off a meteorite and attached itself to my leg. My bump appeared about 10 to 12 years ago. Looked like a pop blister. And then I was wrestling with my dog one day and skinned it on the carpet. And after that point, it just ballooned up to the three or so inches it is now. So I think the growth is just that, a wild growth of odd cells that uh, started like a skin tag and have just gone berserk. I have not seen any doctors yet because I dislike going to the doctor. Uh, I had a lower back surgery that went completely wrong and I've got severe disability due to that. And I have a couple of other health problems, one being uh, type 2 diabetes, and I, I believe it's causing some weight loss, nutrition issues. Hoping Dr. Lee can really do something for me. Of course, me too. I'm concerned that the growth on my dad's knee might have some other effects on his health that he hasn't realized. Since he hasn't been to see a doctor, we don't know what, what it's possibly doing to him. So the thing looks more like a ribeye steak every day. I want to take it off and barbecue Don't it. Don't you dare. No, that's disgusting. <laughs> I'm very interested in seeing what Dr. Lee thinks this is. I want to see her reaction. I think I just might shock Dr. Lee for the first time. Well, hello. Hi, Dr. Oh, Lee, hello. Dr. Lee, Dr. Uh, Lee. Nice to meet you. I'm so excited. It's nice to meet you. Welcome. <laughs> Likewise. You are Bradley. I am. And this is your son? This is my son, son Jeremy. Nice to meet you. Nice Welcome. to meet you. What can I do for you today? What's going on? Well, I've got this funky alien that okay. jumped off a meteorite that crashed through my ceiling this, one How night long ago did that happen? It's been on me for over 10, 15 years. OK, it's been there for 10, 15 years. Yeah, okay. but it started as just what looked like a little popped blister. Um, oh, okay. But eventually, it came up one day, and it was a little bigger than the last time, and it's been there ever since. OK. It would crack open and bleed occasionally. Okay. It yeah. doesn't ooze. It just bleeds every now no, and then. It but oozes it's and bleeds. It oozes and bleeds, OK. Uh, have you seen anybody for it? I have not. Um, do you feel well otherwise? I have lost about 100 pounds over oh the goodness. last six years. Over the last six years? Yeah, okay. and I attributed it to diabetes. Okay, so let me take a look at this. I'm gonna put some gloves on here. Before I've even removed Bradley's wrap and seen what this lesion looks like, he's already telling me things that are concerning to me. Look at that, it is like a mushroom. If I pull yeah, underneath ahead. it, just let me know if I'm hurting you at all, okay? Yep. No, it's fine. Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> so disgusting. <laughs> it's a ribeye steak mushroom. Uh -huh. definitely like solid on you. Okay. I, I think it's just a wild growth, nothing serious. 
I really hope you can help, because I just can't deal with this anymore. I can imagine. You know, I can see that this has been there and growing for a long time. The thing that concerns me, though, is uh, the fact that you've lost a lot of weight. And I know that you're thinking that that's due to your diabetes. I I'm certainly not uh, um, positive as to what this is. But there are reasons that make me suspect it could be a type of cancer. Now, I want to say that there are different kinds of cancers. Yeah. There are kinds that are more just locally invasive, that yes. grow just in that area. And there are ones that spread yeah. more internally. But the fact that this has been here for 15 years, I'm much happier when you say that because that makes me think it does not metastasize. It doesn't spread to other areas of the body. So that is reassuring. So I think that the most important thing for us to do now is we call this like a diagnostic excision. Let's get this off and we'll send it in to get a biopsy and see if we can get a good diagnosis and we're gonna try to get it as quick as we can. Okay. Okay? So let's do that today, okay? I'm gonna get my Sounds girl good. to call you back in a minute, okay? Okay. Okay. But I do need to prepare Brad mentally for the fact that this is likely a skin cancer. I just don't know what type yet. My intent is to do an excisional biopsy where I excise whatever I see there in order to get a accurate diagnosis. I'm, I'm really glad she can take it off. <sighs> I hope it's not more serious. Of course, me too. Hopefully it's just gotten off and it's done. Yep. Dr. Lee says that my growth is more than likely cancer. It definitely hits home and scares me. Makes the situation more serious than I felt before. But she believes she can remove it. I'm extremely excited about that, but worried about what type of cancer it could be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little numbing in and let it sit for a couple minutes here, okay. okay? Because of the nature of this lesion, although it is large, I don't like that on him. It's just important to get something like that that looks like that off as quickly as possible. If you take off an entire area that you strongly suspect is a skin cancer, you're gonna get a more accurate idea of what is involved. 